Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. This is not really a tractor video today, but uh, if you own a small tractor and you watch my channel, you're probably living in the country or you have property in the country. And you know, the farmers get the good ground and they sell the rest of us this hilly ground like I've got. And you have drainage, drainage issues on hilly ground. And I've got a, a good one and it's on my driveway. Uh, this is the low spot of my property right here. And there's a lot of water comes through here from all up in this area behind me here. And uh, there's a, a, a ditch that nobody ever finished that comes down this hill. And I did a video a little over, I think probably over a year ago talking about what do I do? And I asked your opinion and I got lots of opinions. And, and I knew that my choices were to try to form out a ditch where I could mow it or to put drain tile in it and fill it over with rock or just to fill it up with rock. And I got a lot of great comments. Uh, generally, what I got from you was, those of you that have had drainage issues, that putting drain tile in is a bad idea because when you're controlling the slope and you might have a little erosion, that's gonna fill up with dirt and sediment and pretty soon you're gonna be digging it out. And so uh, the drain tile went out the door and, and to get the right drain tile, that stuff is really expensive and that's a like a 600 foot uh, area behind me with this gully. And, and so uh, making a ditch out of it would might work, and, but there's a lot of dirt that would have to be taken out in order to make it where I could run my zero turn on it. And if you get a big rain in the middle of all that, you got a bunch of stuff goes downstream and you have to fill in the ruts and getting the grass established would be a challenge. And we just didn't think that was a good idea. And uh, probably the best advice and the, and the advice I thought was based on a lot of experience came from Facebook. And I'm gonna put some pictures up here of a guy that has done ju just exactly this. I think he does it for a living. And uh, he puts uh, ditches in with rock and, and rough rock that, that uh, digs into the hill and uh, boy, it doesn't go anywhere. And I wish I had rock that looked this good. I, here's a picture of it uh, and, and rain right after he put it in and didn't, didn't move it. And that's, that's what I want. And then on top of it, you either run your mower over it or you spray or whatever to keep the grass that comes up through. And uh, yeah, you know, in a perfect world, you'd put down some kind of a weed barrier at the bottom, but you're gonna try to mash that rock in and that's gonna make holes and you're gonna get grass up anyway. So. I'm not sure the weed barrier helps all that much, but something like that is what I want to do. Well, I decided early on, it's probably too big a job for my little 40 horse tractor. And if that was the only option I had, I'd probably attack it. But I've got a neighbor, lives, lives right up the hill here, at the end of my driveway, that's got a landscape company. And my wife and I have been wanting him to do some work for us for a long time. And we said, someday when it slows down in the winter, when you're not busy, come and, and do some landscaping at our house and then fix this ditch. Well, Matt's here today, and he's trying to figure out how to fix it. What we've decided, it, it, it's wide at some places and narrower at other places. We're going to make it about the same width all the way down, about six feet. And then we're going to put some rough creek rock in it and just fill it up and let the water go down through the creek rock. I think that'll work. Matt thinks it'll work. We don't really know for sure. I may revisit this video two or three times later down on the road where we see what it's done and we fix it but we're going to do our best today to get her fixed and uh, i'm going to show you some of the excavation going on and uh, we'll see how it does and what it looks like at the end let's let's go watch going up the driveway this area when we moved here it had a deep channel of erosion going through it and i filled it with field rock out of the pasture and that slowed the erosion problem down but you can't mow it you got to either weed eat it or run over it with a sickle mower and here's actually an area where grass is growing. You can drive your zero turn over, but those areas are rare going down this hill. You'll notice that somebody before me tried to fill concrete in this ditch, and they kind of halfway did it. There's, it made the water go around the concrete and cut a deep channel. And this area is just impossible to mow with anything but a push mower, and it's grueling because you're pushing up a steep hill, uh, the push mower. So I'm ready to be done with it. This is Matt and Dakota who are going to be doing the work today. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Those guys don't have a clue what I do, but boy, they are good with a mini excavator and a skid loader. I'll have to give them credit. But we're going to fill this up with rock here. I'm going to mow right down that line right there. And I think that'll work and save me a lot of back work with a push mower. 
But we'll come back here in a minute and show you what the finished product looks like. It'll look a lot better than this did, I promise you. Here you can see where we're going. The mini excavator is at a right angle to the uh, ditch, and he's digging out a little ditch, and we're going to fill this with rock, tamp it down good so it doesn't go anywhere, and then put a little rock on top of it and make a kind of a natural halfway attractive ditch to go down my driveway, and hopefully that'll let the water through, and we'll either spray the uh, anything that comes up through it or... Uh, we'll cut it with a weed eater or something like that. I don't think much will come up through there, but we'll see. Here's a shot of the rock that's going to go in where the uh, dirt comes out. And it's, uh, it's not jagged, but it's, it's came out of a creek. It's bigger rock, heavier. And we'll put that in and mash it down. Hopefully that'll keep the erosion to a minimum. And it doesn't look too bad, it doesn't look as pretty as that rock I showed you earlier, but uh, it's, it's somewhat smooth and it'll sure look a lot better than what was there. Here's the finished product guys. The channel is loaded with big rocks. They compressed the bottom ones in with the excavator, I don't think they'll go anywhere. And the top ones they kind of scattered to make a natural ditch. And I think this looks a whole lot better than it did. I think the water will run through it. And I think my days of having to push a push mower up this mountain and mow over that horrendously uneven gulch are over. Next August when I come out here, I'll be really happy about that. And if you've got a ditch that needs finishing, now this wasn't cheap. And Matt, the landscape guy, did a lot of work for us. So I'm not sure exactly what part the ditch played in it, but it was fairly expensive. Matt got it done. He hauled off the concrete. He spread the dirt out in some holes I've got in the pasture. My brush hogging's going to be easier. And my ditch now looks like it's finished. And I am very happy with how that looks. If you've got an erosion problem and an unfinished ditch, this is probably what you need to do. And I don't think I'd recommend doing it yourself with a small tractor, but with the right equipment and guys that know what they're doing running it, uh, you can have something like this. And I'm very pleased with it. Appreciate you watching my videos. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd be honored. It's really easy. Click this mic face icon and check the bell so you're notified when I post future videos. Here's a link to my website and the Tractor Fun Store with unique items for sale for the tractor owner. It helps support my YouTube channel. And here's a video where I ask for input on how to fix this. If you want to see what it looked like before, watch this video. Thanks for watching.